What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today, yeah, we got a little treat. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial Thursday. And so, yeah, we're gonna do a Wawanko Fio Tumbao that you can try out on three drums. Oh yeah, you gotta love it. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to Air Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button just so you can find out whenever I upload these videos. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the continued love, all the support, man. Seriously, your comments, uh, me just messing around, having some fun, doing some little arrangements here with these drums, man. I know you guys uh, really supported that and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But, you know, it's been a while since I've done a Tutorial Thursday and I wanted to kind of show you three kind of Wawanko feel tumbaos that you can try out. And I would just say off the bat, this shouldn't really be played like a whole pattern. I would say this is something that you could use to kind of pop some feel, a little bit of sasong, a little bit of spicy, spicy, you know, to the mix. And it, I think it adds a nice little... A dynamic to a you know just a modern style tumbao but at the same time it does require you know some melody and some moving around the drum set and i think um this this really um i would say just just requires some time to develop and uh this is actually drives some inspiration i've seen a couple people do it like uh marquinhones bobby allende um, I've seen uh, people, I think like uh, William Cachiro Thompson used this as well. Um, and I think it all stems from a variation that I actually showed a while ago. I'm gonna try to find it, but it's a Wamoko feel that Mongo Santa Maria actually did um, in the song. So I think I covered that already. So, but this actually just, you know, it's a little bit more modern and uh, I think you'll like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show just one variation first. And then I'm gonna from there show the two other variations later on. So this is just the first demo of the first variation. Yeah, we're gonna have fun in this tutorial, but let me show you what I'm doing. So first I'll say, if you noticed, I am using just a basic tumbao to kind of set up that wawanko feel tumbao. And in this case, uh, I'm just doing just a basic bass finger, close slap, finger, bass finger, two opens. Very important to start off there, y'all. I understand if you're starting out, but if you're struggling just to keep one of those for a good 10 minutes, One eternity later.
Yeah, so I would say internalize that first before attempting any of this other craziness. But uh, to kind of put it into simpler terms, I will just do two tumbao, so two of these. After doing two of those nice little tumbaos, uh, now I'm gonna keep actually gonna start by doing that normal marcha. So I'll still go by doing a bass finger and close slap. But this is where the magic happens. After doing that close slap with my dominant hand on the conga, I'm gonna do a finger with my non-dominant hand, which you would kind of normally do, especially if you're gonna continue that tumbao. But in this case, I'm gonna do a finger, and it depends to you, you could do another finger. I personally like to do a close slap, it adds a little bit more dynamic. So a close slap with my dominant hand, and then another close slap with my non-dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. Now this is where we get to the part of the wawanko feel. Oh yeah, you gotta love it. This is what happens. After doing that close slap with your non-dominant hand, we're gonna do an open with our dominant hand on the tumba to our dominant side. And at the same time, our non-dominant hand is gonna start going to this side. We're gonna start living over here for a second. But before hitting this drum, you're gonna do an open and then a close slap with your dominant hand on the conga, then an open with your non-dominant hand on the drum to your non-dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. To put that together, it's gonna sound like this. You see how those close slaps kind of make everything add together, sound a lot smoother. You gotta love those little accents. After doing that open, what you're gonna do again, we're gonna start doing this little wawanko feel. After doing that, you're gonna do a close slap with your dominant hand, another open with your non-dominant hand to your non-dominant side, a finger or ghost note to kind of set up this next part. You're gonna come back with your non-dominant hand, do a close slap here, uh, on the conga and then with your dominant hand, you're gonna do an open on the tumba. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not a lot. It's gonna sound like this. Those ghost notes are very, very important as they kind of keep you in the feel and in the timing. But to play it up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. trying to slow it down as much as possible for you guys so you can get all that sazon and flavor in that craziness. Gotta love it. Now to end it, to actually go back to doing a normal tumbao, you're actually gonna end it with an open with your non-dominant hand on the conga, and then you're gonna set yourself up by doing like a slight bass finger close slap, which is then takes you back to the finger, bass finger, two opens part. So to kind of like hear that coming out of the tumba, it's gonna sound like this.
pretty interesting. And and again, it, it really depends how you want to play it through. You can keep on doing a tumbao if that was just like a once in a lifetime type of moment. Or if you want to kind of use it as an exercise, you would just, uh, rather than doing a two opens, you would go back to doing that movement, uh, for example. Again, I really wouldn't play it all the way through like that. It really depends on you if you're gonna try to do it um, once in a lifetime or here and there. But um, it's, I think it's a great exercise as well since, it, you know, you could again play it as a pattern, but um, you know, it, it does have that wawonko feel and it is kind of challenging, especially when it comes to just trying to make sure every tone is nice and crispy. But, you know, to play it slowly for you guys and counting it, and what I'm gonna do, at least for this, I'm just gonna play it kind of repeatedly so we can know, uh, you know, just how to do that just variation. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Pretty interesting stuff, y'all, but how do we take it to another level? So we understand this concept. We understand how to get to this point. So before you do the second variation, please internalize the first one. You gotta internalize the first one. If not, you're just gonna fumble the ball here. You're gonna fumble the ball, it's not gonna sound pretty. All right, so please do the first one first. Now, here you're gonna think I'm cheating, but I am. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so all we're really doing is we're gonna add maybe an extra note, but we're gonna be replacing a lot of these close slaps with opens. Oh yeah, let me show you the variation first. And again, I'm just gonna do the, the roundabout, I'm not gonna do it with just doing it in the middle of a tumbao as I showed it in the beginning. But yeah, let me show you how this second variation sounds. Very melodic, y'all, very melodic. Man, you just gotta love Melodia. Gotta love it, man. Um, yeah, so everything is quite the same. So let me tell you where things start to get different. So everything up to this point is the same. Yeah, so up until the first Doomba hit, everything is the same. Now, where things get different is after doing that tumba, if you remember, we're doing a close slap here. We're gonna be replacing that with an open. So it's gonna be an open and then an open on the drum to your non-dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. Remember with the other variation, it was like this. Versus, after doing that open with your non-dominant hand on the conga to your non-dominant side, 
this is where it gets different, all right? So we're gonna add a, another note, but in this case, rather than doing just one close slap like we did in the previous variation, we're gonna be doing two opens. So it's gonna be two opens and then an open with your non-dominant hand on the drum to your non-dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. So just to put this part down, the part that's slightly different, it's gonna sound like this. Now, normally in the previous variation, what would follow would be a ghost note and a closed slap to then doing an open on the tumba to your dominant side. But we're gonna be replacing that ghost note with an open and that close slap with an open. So yeah, then after that, you're gonna be doing another open with your non-dominant hand. So it's gonna be open, 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 open. A lot of openings in this wawanko. So it's gonna sound like this. So again, just to put the part that's different, it's gonna sound like this. Beautiful. Beautiful, man, I just love melody, y'all. I love melody. But after doing that open, everything else is the same. It goes back to that previous version and you would do the bass and close slap to doing the close slaps again to start all over. So to play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Now to play it slowly and counting it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, 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 one. All right, y'all, now for the third variation, and I'm just saying, if you're gonna be playing fast, I do not recommend this one. Or at least if you're not that, you know, good with doing two notes at the same time with your non-dominant hand, just, just don't try it, not just, it's okay. If you know the first variation, if you, if you have that down packed, it's gonna be the exact same thing. The only difference that we're doing is that we're gonna be adding an extra open to the drum on the non-dominant side. So when it's its turn, we're gonna be adding an extra open. Again, I'm just gonna be playing just that variation so you can hear it. And the reason why it's somewhat difficult and in, in where, again, I wouldn't recommend it for you know just fast playing is because remember we have to kind of go back to doing that close slap to set up the open on the tumba. So you'll see how much just you just gotta you know, just whew, really fast just to come here and make that close slap nice and clean and, and ready to add those accents. And oftentimes, if it doesn't come out, it's okay. Just tap the drum, it, it adds a feel and space to keep you in the timing of the pattern. But to play it, it's gonna sound like this.
yeah who would have thought just adding an extra open to each of those opens would change the feel of the whole pattern but it does and and this is a great way if you're trying to just practice that uh after learning the first pattern this is just a great exercise that you can try to develop that Yeah, make an exercise out of it. But again, after doing those two opens, remember you have to come back and do that close slap. So it has to sound nice and crispy, or at least do make it into a ghost note. Do something where at least you come back and it adds the timing and feel to help land on the tumba with your dominant side. So again, it should be. Very important, y'all. But let's play that one very slowly so you can catch that variation. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 One. But all right, y'all, really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take your time on these variations. I know they're a little bit complex. It's kind of fun. Uh, don't recommend you just keep on playing that pattern unless, you know, your people tell you to. You know, they, I like that. Keep on playing and you better do it. You better do it. But do it well. Take your time. Practice. Put it on a metronome. Have some fun with it, y'all. It's okay to have some fun with these patterns. If you feel like adding a bass or an extra slap, if you feel like you can even change this whole variation around, do it, man. It's 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 great to see different styles, different patterns, uh, different ways of interpreting, just things that people have already done, you know, for us. We're just adding some extra spice, but they're, they're the spicy ones. They're the ones that kind of pay the wave and did all this for us already. So uh, yeah, I'm grateful to, to have uh, learned this from from a lot of different uh, conga players. So, but all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.